Hello folks, it's Mike here from Blastsmiths UK. I'm just going to quickly, well I say quickly, take you through the uh, installation process uh, for our new spring with respect to the side strike. Uh, covering a few foibles and bits and pieces that I feel that uh, other installation videos don't perhaps uh, cover in terribly in too much detail. So here we have the side strike open. Uh, it's simply a case of removing all the screws and popping them to, to one side. Um, always remember there's a little screw under the slider here, just out of the way, so you need to slide that back and unscrew that to get it open completely. So <clears throat> once you have the blaster open and, and visible in front of you, you'll notice obviously we've got a very Fire Strike uh, esque plunger system here. Uh, this extension spring is normally wrapped around the, uh, the pin uh, here, and that obviously then interfaces with its counterpart on the other side, and that forms the slider mechanism for the blaster. And that is one of the key areas of, of difficulty that we have with, with resembling this blaster. So, first things first, I have already in a previous take glued this little blighter here down. I tend to find that you, it kept falling out quite regularly, so I've just put some glue on it. It's a quick standard uh, sort of Loctite super glue that just, you know, stop it from falling away. So, First things first then, uh, remove your trigger and your catch plate just to get them safely out of the way. Uh, and again, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to, uh, I have very little sort of tolerance for having springs flying around all the place. So just take your catch plate spring here and dab a tiny little bit of super glue on here just to bond the catch, uh, the spring to the, to the catch plate so that it doesn't fly away. They come now as a single unit. Put that to one side and leave it to dry. Um, then obviously remove your plunger assembly by lifting and pulling backwards like that gently. Okay, pop that to one side. Now the next area to glue is this damn thing because it always comes out uh, at most inopportune moments when you're trying to reassemble. So just a drop of super glue along that line there. Just think. Now obviously if you were painting this blaster, you would want to. Um, you know, preserve it a little bit. So I'd suggest you paint before you do the uh, do the upgrade here, uh, and it just sort of slots back in there like so. Okay, and that will leave that to dry basically, and that will dry over the next few minutes whilst we whilst we tend to the important part and the bit that we all came here to do. So obviously this is the fire strike fire strike esque uh, plunder assembly. It's very sort of you know, it's got all the bulkhead mounts and everything that you'd expect. Um, so essentially you need to remove your, your plunger from the plunger assembly and you'll notice this sort of J-shaped uh, shebang going on here and what you need to do is you need to sort of bend the spring over that and pop it away to leave you with the bare plunger rod and, and system here. So take the, the old squishy spring, pop it to one side and grab our new big beefier upgrade spring and that simply slots on in reverse to the mesh motion -y thing. Now sometimes I find it does this, which is super helpful because you can just twist and 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 twist a little bit more, he says. Here we go, come on. There we are. Okay. And just twist it until that snaps around. And you now have a nice beefy upgrade spring on there. So all good. Ready to go back into the plunger. So obviously you've glued this down, so you slot in like so, and this piece here mates up with this bulkhead, uh, this bulkhead mount here. So you slot it in ever so gently, he says. Uh, and obviously this bit slots to here. The bit that I showed you a moment ago mounts to there, and just sort of settle them in situ. There we go. Settle them nicely in situ. Now. The key problem with reassembly uh, is this metal pin here. It sits, as I said, in a housing on the uh, side here. Now, the problem with that is to get the blaster reassembled, you have to assemble that square, and it really does like to fall apart. So what I tend to do is get some super glue and dab it on the end. Pop that to one side a moment. Pop that out of the way. Okay, and I just tend to just slot it in the mount very quickly, just like so, so that it holds. Ensure there's still movement here. Okay, 
Now, coming back to the catch plate spring, that's not going anywhere now, which is brilliant. Um, obviously, oh, before I forget, obviously make sure you don't get so much super glue on it that you accidentally glue it down. I have done that before, so be be careful with your super glue. Before you reassemble everything, make sure this spring is sitting in the right location on the other side of this bulkhead here. So there is a little bit of preload now. You can see that little bit of movement in the preload. So take your catch plate spring and wipe off any excess glue. Make sure it's not too sticky. Slot it back in place like so, he says. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. And then take your trigger and then in turn just pop it there. Okay, and that should all move. So by now, that should be relatively well set. So take a screwdriver, I find is the best way to do this, and lift up the extension spring, get a grip on it very gently. There we go. And then stretch the spring over there. That should now hold. And you can now try and begin the laborious process of re- um, reassembling this blast. Now as I say, this keeping this piece here square is key because obviously it has to uh, move into its counterpart location on the opposite side. So what I tend to do is I sort of make the two clamshells up a little bit and then I pop it on its end and I sort of try and approach it head on like so and just take some work to wiggle it around a little bit to make it function correctly. You just need to sort of like so. There we go. Okay, and it just is a case of being patient and taking it easy with it. Okay. And you can hear that's got a much stronger pull to it. So what you need to do now then obviously is you go back through and you reinsert all your screws uh, as you would for a normal blaster. So you just take your screws through and reinsert them. I didn't do this at the beginning of the video because it's not terribly interesting to to watch, uh, but it does give me the opportunity to talk about a few of the bits and pieces uh, whilst I'm finishing up. So whilst we're screwing up, these springs will be available for five pounds on the uh, blastersmith.co.uk store, uh, effective immediately. I'll pop a link down in the description below uh, to allow people to buy them. Um, don't forget the little blighter under here to allow people to buy them from our web store. Uh, five pound includes the UK uh, and European Union sales tax. If you're in America or Australia, uh, you'll find that you get a, an automatic 20% uh, discount because you fine folks don't pay our local sales tax, so they will come in at four pounds and seventeen pence for you, um, which is great. And uh, shipping time, we usually ship springs same or next day uh, because they're nice and easy. Unless, of course, your, your order has um, tactical equipment or printed stuff in it, which at which point you will be sort of subject to our normal two week lead time policy, which can be found on the left hand side bar of the website um, when you go on there and have a look at that. So here we have the Zombie Strike uh, Side Strike. Uh, fits in our fire strike holster now with an upgraded spring uh, and chronograph data will be linked in the description below.